like a phoenix Born from the ashes I take care of my own Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Emergency 4. I am Ray J Gamer. Uh, today we're going to be playing around with the Ocean City modification. Um, this is a modification that I haven't done on my channel yet and I definitely want to give it a little bit of attention. Um, I like this modification. This map is just absolutely massive in size, and that's always a plus in my eyes. Um, so as you know me, the first thing I like to do is get as many police units out as I can. Um, if I can get a realistic coverage, get some realistic coverage going on. So I always deploy them one by one because I don't like them tailing each other. But we get this one out first, and once he gets on his way, we'll get another one out there and see what he can do. Yeah, I love this modification. We don't have any units on the map, so we definitely need to do that also. This map is just so big, and you really got to play um, on your P's and Q's if you kind of want to keep up. Because when these events start happening, they will happen fast. And if you do not um, have the units where you need them, you are going to have a terrible, terrible time uh, keeping control over your city. There we go. First call of the day. Engine 78, rescue 264. Respond for an unknown medical, possible food poisoning. RP is calling from the market. She's indicating that her friend had eaten at a nearby restaurant and suddenly became ill. All right. So right now we got a call of food poisoning. Um, RP was able to tell us that their friend had eaten somewhere and they got pretty sick from it. So what are you idiots doing? Come on. I'll tell you what, you can actually come down here. Roger. Here. But they said a friend ate at a nearby restaurant and got sick. Um, so we're, we believe that they have a case of food poisoning. So we're going to get out there as quickly as we can and see what's going on. Okay. I know you guys can park much better than what you're doing. Roger. Perfect. All right, that will do it. That is some pretty good parking, I have to say. <laughs> I really like for them to park um, in a way that makes sense. I mean, you wouldn't see them all up on the curve and in the grass and running over trees um, for most situations. Now, I can see if it's like an extreme situation, but this is not an extreme situation. Uh, and this is quite common, so there's no need for them to drive like idiots. All right, so she's doing pretty good. While they work, work on her, we're going to go back and get some more units um, placed on the map. That call came out pretty fast, and we definitely want to be ready for the next one when it comes through. Make sure I didn't skip anything up there. There we go. Been good so far. Just one more, okay. There don't seem like a lot of units for this um, huge map, but maybe that's how it's meant to be. I mean, of course it's how it meant, meant to be, but I'm sure it's going to make it a lot more difficult and challenging. But we'll see what we got. He should be good to go right now. Okay. They're going to get her up. He can get back on patrol. We're going to be good to go until the next call. Alright, that was a pretty quick call. Uh, very simple. We got a call of a person who had fallen to the ground. Um... Right out there eating at a nearby restaurant. Um, the RP said they believe they may have food poisoning. They were vomiting before and kind of showing signs of it. So we immediately got our first responders on scene and they was able to assess them. Um, it does seem like a case of food poisoning. So they're going to be transported to the nearby hospital uh, so they can get some further treatment going on. 
while they are being transported. We're going to go around and get all these lights turned off. Seems like I'm missing a lot of units, but maybe that's reserved for um, medical. I don't have any medical units placed on the map yet. Quite sure that's what that is. So let's do that now. Let's get some medical units placed out. Ten four. So right now we got a fight in progress going on. Um, they don't know about injuries. They say it seems like it's going to be escalating. That this person is very irate, and you have certain bystanders trying to intervene. So we do feel like this situation could escalate uh, pretty severely. So we're going to try to hurry up and get some units out there, kind of intercept what's going on. Oh, they're coming. She better have her fun while she can. <laughs> they are hauling. They're coming. And she's she's just, it's a guy. I thought it was a lady. Damn, he's knocking out every, it is a lady. She's knocking out everybody. Oh my God. She is just complete savage right now. Y'all don't hurry up and lock her up. Do something, please. Played and lost her mind. <laughs> He has lost her <laughs> mind. But they do have her in custody right now, and we have uh, just a massive amount of casualties going on. Let's go ahead and get medical rolling. This lady is absolutely nuts right now. I mean, it's not a massive amount of casualties, but for her to go out and knock out two people and still be on Rampage, something's wrong. <laughs> We got a person who fell to the ground. Uh, seems like they may be in shock. So we got uh, first responders headed out, and we got a medic also. I'm on the way that's going to try to help get these guys all fixed up. Man, this lady up here is crazy. I'm still lost right now, man, how she's going around knocking out everybody she comes in contact with. That is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's terrible that she's doing it, but damn, this lady is pretty bad. 10-4. I thought she hit somebody over here. I guess not. I guess everybody's back on this side. Almost there. No problem. This may be the perfect thumbnail, actually. I mean, because this lady just lost her absolute mind. <laughs> All right, we got the perfect thumbnail. I'm quite sure that's going to be the best thumbnail um, in this entire session right now. That lady is absolutely nuts. Waiting on a medic to arrive, and they're just about there. So we're going to get back to this scene a little bit. Look at it. Luckily, she didn't hurt them too bad. I mean, she knocked them out, but they're not they're not too hard to patch up and get all fixed up. So that's a good thing. Roger. Man, that lady's crazy. Roger. <laughs> that was like the highlight for me. I mean, how she, she's just going down the line, just just taking out everybody. She, I mean, she don't care who she hits. She's like, whatever. Like, it, this, it is what it is type situation. Ten four. Copy. Yes. Go ahead. All right, so we're pretty good to go on this thing. Got it all cleaned up. I had a report of a lady. Um... She started out fighting someone. Um, she managed to knock out the person she was fighting, and she went immediately to the next person. Um, I guess who were on her, who was on her list, and she immediately dealt with them in the worst possible way by leaving them flat on their ass. Um, <laughs> but we got her in custody, uh, so we're not worried about that. There, uh, we had another person down here. Um, they're gone now, but they fell to the ground. It seems like they were in shock. Um, we had an EMS captain able to 
give the person some immediate first aid and they're going to be transported to the emergency room as well so in total we have three people headed to the hospital right now all at one time uh two of which were the result of being knocked out and the other was a result of passing out on the sidewalk so not bad um not a, not a bad couple of calls there Gotcha. All right, so we got a little fire going on in one of these tents. Not really sure how it started, but it has just it's just been reported to us. So we're gonna get out there and get some units out there and see what we can do about it. Come on, man, get out the way! Don't you see? Ugh. I don't understand. People just stand right in the way when they see fire coming. Need a hose. There you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Roger. Almost there. I gave them the wrong hydrant. They should have hooked up to this one, but I couldn't see it. It's so dark. That's okay though. They figured it out. Then you're going to be pretty much good to go in this fire. Yeah, it's already put out, so they're good there. So we're going to let this unit sit out here so they can get all cleaned up, get all their stuff together, equipment, and get back to um, the station. for so right now we just got a call of a person who has fallen to the ground um refuses to get up lazy and consider it um <laughs> so we're gonna get out there and see if we can help her um get back to her feet or transport her to the hospital where she can get better attention it's okay almost there these guys are gonna get these scubas off for right now That's pretty good. What I like about this modification is that they can change it to hazmat gear. So you don't have to always have the huge hazmat truck, which of course you would for all hazmat situations. Uh, these guys can also suit up in hazmat gear and assist. So I, I definitely like that feature um, about this modification. All right, we're good to go here. And you are good to go back on patrol. Roger. He's gonna get over there and see if he can give her some kind of assistance. Uh, but first, he definitely uh, needs to get his medical bag out. Roger. It's okay. So this little scene right here, we got that all cleaned up. Had a little fire breakout. Um, still don't know how it broke out. Uh, Could have been a cigarette. Not exactly sure, but we did have an amazing response. We had an amazing response from our fire, and they was able to get that fire contained in a matter of minutes. That is awesome. Now, one problem I do have with this modification is that the lights are not coming on um, along with the siren, so that's kind of bothering me a little bit. Um, a lot, actually. <laughs> be quite honest with you. It's just some about it. I mean, you wouldn't, you won't have a siren on without the lights, and by them having it that way, it's kind of kind of rubbing me the wrong way. I know it's not anything they're doing intentional, but it's feel weird. Ten four. No reason my um guy with the scratcher can't get out this ambulance, so that's definitely a little glitch going on. I'm gonna try to get another ambulance out there and see if he can do a little bit better. Before. So we got another person uh, who has fallen to the ground. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they all came from some badass party that they failed to invite me to, but everybody is falling flat on their ass <laughs> and they just can't seem to get up. I don't understand what's going on. 
if I keep having this problem from my um, ambulances, I may have to send them all back to HQ and get some more uh, requested. But we'll try to figure that out here in a second. Hopefully I don't have to do that. Don't know if I've ever noticed that little bug before. Maybe it's just that particular one, and it does seem like so. So I send that one back to HQ. The one that's having it little difficulties. Yeah. We'll go from there. Perfect. Roger. Almost there. All right. So he's going to get him transported to the station. Had another fight to break out. It's like the nights of fights and knockouts tonight. Um, had a fight to break out. Um, luckily, the police were able to intervene before anybody got hurt. Uh, they quickly caught that guy, and now he's going to be transported down to the station. Oh, good. Alright, so we got an unknown fire going on. Um, they believe it may be caused by a cigarette, but none of that matters right now. Uh, the only thing that matters is getting out there and getting deployed um, as soon as we possibly can. So, by being an office building, that huge building, I think it was a bank, um, actually. But by being in that public area... Yeah, it's definitely a bank, I believe. We definitely want to have a heavy response to, um... Come on, dude. Get in. Try to minimize injuries. And try to hurry up and get in and get it contained. Okay, okay let's see. We'll get PD out there in a second. Engine 77, 78, squad 79, rescue 9, respond for a multiple vehicle accident with Roger. subjects trapped. PD is responding to traffic issues. Good advice. Let's jump down here real quick and see what kind of traffic accident we got going on. Not even a block away. Um, in fact, we're going to go ahead and roll out a ladder truck down there so they can hurry up and get that person some assistance. Uh, we're going to let these guys... Hmm. That's exactly how I want to do this. I didn't mean to bring out hazmat. Uh, they can actually go back. We don't need hazmat out here. Um... But we do need all of you. I can tell you that much. We need our ladder truck as well, but right now he's kind of tied up. Got a little collision going on right now that we kind of need to see about. A little bit more important. Luckily, the road is already shut down a little bit ways away, so you don't need law enforcement immediately um, in the way. Almost there. Ten four. Everything is erupting so quick. Ten four. I mean, this fire wasn't bad though to contain. I mean, they already have it put out on the inside. These Ten these four. guys just gotta. Still just little tree and a couple of bushes on the outside, and we should be good to go uh, with this fire. Almost there. Ten four. Engine eleven. Engine thirty four. Squad thirty four. Rescue thirty. Respond for a vehicle fire. We have no word on injuries. The vehicle is blocking the roadway and is interfering with traffic. We're advising CHP. Ten four. We've got a vehicle fire going on right now. Um, they should make pretty quick work of that. Uh, that's nothing too severe going on with that. Um, but we do want to see about this traffic accident. That's kind of my primary concern right now. Copy. All 
All right, so they got that pretty much under control. We do have a couple of uh, ambulances coming. Again, it's kind of, I never got a chance to fully place all the units I needed on map, so just kind of got to roll with it a little bit. Perfect, perfect. Here what this guy's doing. Almost there. All right. Perfect. Everything is looking good right now. Get a tow truck out here to pick that up. Ten four, got another fire going on. It's like when the events start happening, they just keep happening. You have one fire, you have ten. <laughs> we had one fight to break out, and we had another one to break out right afterwards. So, not sure what's going on uh, tonight with these guys, but not cool. I think they're going to make quick work of that fire. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and send these guys back. They have that under control. Try to keep our units as close to home as possible. They should be good to go. They're stabilized. They've already been checked out. We just kind of need to get them transported out of here. Roger. It's okay. Yes. All right, so we got a couple of tow trucks coming to pick that up. What's, what, do, what do we have going on down here? We can get you headed back to the station. You can begin a patrol. Uh, as far as these guys, we can start packing up. Same here. Ten four. So not bad. I mean, it's yes. it's trying to get a little hectic, but we are managing pretty good for ourselves, I have to say. So, we're not going to complain about that. Attention all units. We have reports of a suspicious person. Oh. We've had several calls okay. on this one. Uh, several of the RPs are reporting that they've seen a suspicious person in the area and it looks as if this uh, person is leaving what appears to be some sort of device uh, in several areas, in several locations. Of course they are. Don't have a description. Uh, I don't have any units. RPs are concerned that the devices might be explosives. We are advising the bomb squad and fire will also respond, but they will stay. Is she going to get away because I don't have anybody close enough to get her? The closest unit I have is still about two blocks out. So she's going to get away with it this time. That is so frustrating. Roger. That is very frustrating how she got away with it. We tried. Just go ahead and defuse the bomb. Um, let's shut down the road a little bit right there. It's okay. She got away with that one. Uh, we'll catch her next time. Oh, that is so irritating. That is kind of bothering me. <laughs> I can't believe she got away with it, but luckily it did not explode. We, we were able to get it defused, so she kind of failed her mission. And we'll, we'll catch up with her next time. Copy. Roger. Almost there. Yes. Roger. Oh, the trucks get a little bugged out sometimes when they first get back in. Um, I believe it has something to do with the scuba gear. Not sure exactly. Uh, but if you get a couple of seconds, it's, it kind of fixes itself most of the time. This one seems to be taking an extended period of time, though, so I'm not really sure if it's going to be able to do the same thing or not. Engine 46, engine 
What's burning? Oh, it's just building. And four. It's okay. No problem. It's okay. Man, how did the ladder truck beat everybody else there? I don't understand that myself. Not understand that exactly. Let's get him put up on this side. It's actually where I want my ladder truck. That will be fine, sir. Ten four. Roger. Here we go. Engine perfect. Line down, huh? Oh, there she is. Okay, perfect. Not perfect, but at least I can see where she is. I mean, a solo medic run right now. I mean, we have a lot of fires breaking out, and this fire is kind of spreading uh, to nearby buildings. So let's see what we can do. Let's get you uh, right here. That's how we're going to do this. I don't know how these guys have... Oh, these, these were the guys that worked on that car fire. I was going to say, they don't have any kind of scuba gear on, and they have hoses out. I don't, I don't know how that is. But they worked on that car fire that we had um, just a little while ago. Hey, let's go there. Perfect. If this works out like I think it's going to work out, we'll be good to go. Yep. There it is. Perfect. Got those guys attacking from the alleyway. Attention all units. We have a possible barricade situation. Several RPs are indicating that a subject has barricaded himself inside a business and possibly has hostages. Units breaking cover. We're requesting SWAT code 3. Fire and rescue will stage. Of course. Right now we got a hostage system. Ooh, I can't talk. <laughs> right now we have a hostage situation going on. Um, what has been requested to intervene, so we're definitely going to push them down there. They're not too far away. They were still on scene of that bomb um, all that we had, so that's not a problem. Dude, what are you doing all the way down here? You are nowhere near uh, where I need you to be. There you go. Uh, these guys can probably get it done with... Fire extinguishers, more than likely. Not too much more burning right now. A couple of bushes, so they don't really need to deploy an entire hose for it. Roger. So this is where that lady uh, collapsed back here. We do have medical on scene, too. I'll give her some assistance. This is our barricaded person call right here. Let's do this. It's kind of bugging me that the lights do not automatically come on. Roger. Not sure why it's doing it. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I'm using all the resources I have right now. I don't have a lot of resources to call from with uh, these situations going on. So we got to kind of just. Do the best that we can with what we got. They're doing good. You can go back to station and be on call. We need to go ahead and work this incident right here. This is probably the most biggest. Let's do this. Let's get back in and actually deploy the SWAT team. So that way they get out with their weapons and they get out with a riot shield and all that good stuff that we're going to need to push into this place. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. 
Go, go, go. Get in the way. Get in the way. Get in the way. Get in the way. Are you guys going to help him? What? <laughs> Perfect. I mean, they made pretty quick work of that guy, man. I'm, I'm very proud of the SWAT team. I don't like how when the shots start firing, you had a couple of guys to run out like, nope, F this, I'm out. I, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't care for that too much, but for the most part, they did a good job of getting in there and taking this guy down. Uh, so I'm proud of that. You two guys suck. <laughs> guy had a camera in here, got beer over there on the couch. I'm not telling what he was doing. We're going to get a couple of units to our remove our victims. Um, out of this area, and we're gonna wait for medical to arrive. Roger. Almost there. The SWAT team did did a pretty decent job, though. I have to say, again, I don't like how these guys decided to run from fire, but. I mean, they, they did pretty good. And they took a non-lethal shot, so he's he's not even injured too badly, so that's that's pretty cool. I'm going to get them back to briefing and get him out of here. And that's it. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we're kind of at our time limit. I hope you enjoyed the Ocean City modification. I know I had a lot of fun playing this just now. Um, did have a little issue of the ambulance. They had a little bit of a glitch going on. Um, for some odd reason, the guy with the scratcher could not get out. Um, we were able to fix that by just sending him back to headquarters and requesting that ambulance again. So not exactly sure how that glitch um, ended up happening, but it did. Uh, but I am definitely satisfied that we were able to... Um, Find a workaround for it and get something else going on for us. So remember, if you like this video, smack that like button, comment, subscribe, guys. Let me know what you think about it, and I will see you next time. Peace.